Welcome back, everyone, to another exhibition match replay. Our main your host, Dominic, or Shadow Fury, whichever you prefer. And we have a match between Fallen Dale between Dave the Brave, or Dave TB. Dave. Between Dave and Reposter. Dave going for Amp and Reposter also. Amp Mirror on Fallen Dale. What a surprise. Considering that this map has a creek running through the center. Actually, to be fair, for the lack of water on this map, Amp gets played quite a lot. I mean, granted, yes, they do have the water, they can heal off the water, so it's not like it's a bad idea, it's just... There's not that much water, and yet Amph is a very popular factory on this map. But it makes sense. I mean, this is a hilly map, so bot factories are going to be favored, and they have the water in the middle, so Amphbot gets that healing off of it. It's not a bad choice. Both players right now just going for pretty standard opening. Duck to... well, conch to duck, both cases. What do we have here? Four ducks coming in for Dave, and just... Is that duck and repeat? Duck and conch? No, just duck and conch. For a poster. A poster being a little bit more economical as a result. Though, if Dave's going for five ducks, that could be scary. I mean, the five ducks stacking in use and hitting the right point could completely wipe out the poster's economy. Oh, Randy in the chat pointing out that Amph is just popular on every map right now, which, yeah, that's fair. That would explain why they're popular in Fallendale, but then again, Fallendale is a map that does have some side benefits for Amphbots. It's not like it's a bad idea. It's more of a historical thing. I've noticed that throughout Fallendale's history, Amphbot has been a popular map for it. Or sorry, Amphbot has been a popular factory for it. Dave, meeting up with the poster's duck. Won't be able to do that much, unfortunately, just with the one duck, but now they know. It's an Amphbot mirror. They can... Clean up. Are they? No, nope, they're still going with duck. Okay, not going to change off to anything else. Just going to go with duck. Proposer, on the other hand, just going for a full repeat duck as well. So, actually, is that? Nope, no repeat yet for Dave. Proposer, however, having gotten that early second conch, is way ahead when it comes to their economy. I mean, Dave, 16 mil per second. Proposer at 23 and counting. So whatever rushes Dave had planned are not looking likely to happen. The north side is pretty vulnerable, but the south side is where Dave has decided to station all of his ducks and go for the assault, but that is where a poster has defended as well. So this fight is not looking very promising for Dave right now. Poster, however, losing one of the ducks. Yeah, a little tricky on range. Dave so far only taking damage off their ducks, not actually losing anything. So nicely played by Dave there. Getting one duck basically for free. Bit of scouting too. North side a little more vulnerable, though with Reposter's command there it currently isn't. And with the second Lotus as well, not so much either. The Reposter definitely aware that Dave is trying to go for that rush and does not going to allow it. Dave for their part, switching over to Archer Duck, which... Yeah, that's more what I would expect. Archer's... And I mean, after all the changes, archers and ducks aren't too different. Archers, just they're a little faster firing. Their projectile is considerably faster. It doesn't home, but it's fast enough that it doesn't really get dodged either. So I can see why you'd go for that. At any rate, Reposter going... Seeing what they can find over to the north side. Like, oh, what, what can we see? What can we destroy? Same time, over to the south side, they do see in that they can destroy a lotus. Putting Dave's commander, I mean, in not that awkward a position, but hey, now don't have a Lotus they plan to have. Looks like that was just on shift queue as well, so Dave's commander is basically kind of going out of position right now. No, Reposter is not going to take advantage of it. Pure duck, though. Ah, now there's the archer. Okay. Dave, on the other hand, not sure where their archer has gone off to. Ah, there it is. There's the archer. Right in the center, just hanging out. Not really got much to do, just sort of hanging out. Now, that being said, it looks like Reposter going for a bit of a pincer movement here. They managed to get... Oof, not quite. Day of the Rave. I don't know if they're aware of that attack that was coming at them, but really it's not an attack. It's just posturing. Reposter... Position their ducks as best they can to help defend their half the map and help push forward their expansions. They are 
pretty much even with Day of the Rave right now. A little bit better energy economy, a little bit better metal economy, but overall, it's basically even. And Reposer coming in here is probably going to lose all their ducks to these Lotuses. I mean, it was a... It wasn't really worth a shot. Three Lotuses right in the north like that is not something you can attack easily. Same time, more ducks going over to the north to try to reinforce. I don't know why they're trying to do that, because honestly, this is a suicide mission. There's just way too many Lotuses. Like, for ducks, this isn't an option. I mean, boys, yeah, get, you could get those. That would help. But otherwise... Like, yeah, there's not a whole lot that's going to be actually enhanced by, come to think of it. Still, though, the ducks able to come in. Nice play coming here from Reposter. Wiping out all of Dave's ducks. Mostly just with numbers, honestly. It's kind of interesting, though, seeing that the ducks clumped together actually worked out reasonably well for Reposter. Able to shoot past each other. Able to get the kills. So Reposter at this point getting the reclaim off of some of those earlier attacks, and that means they are in a nice position as far as actually getting quite the economic advantage going. Boys are now on the field, though, and that is going to make a huge difference. And the biggest thing, of course, is going to be any kind of assaults like this are going to be more feasible, though, honestly, no, that's not what you use. Really, like I said, Anthbot doesn't have a whole lot. Grizzly kind of works. Bulkhead kind of works. Actually, Bulk could work okay. But, yeah, with this much defense, it's almost... You just kind of got to go, you know what? My opponent has spent a good 2,000... Like, how much is this? Oh, not quite that much. Good 500 metal over in this section, just on defenses. That's like five ducks they don't have. Five, well, it's not even more than that. But like three, two archers they don't have. It's six ducks they don't have. You know, you got the advantage that way. Don't bother going for it. I mean, right now, it's kind of evened out, because Reposter, they lost six ducks to those lotuses. So just cut your losses and attack somewhere, somewhere else. And probably invest in an early grizzly, too, because you're going to need that. Although, again, boy, will help. I mean, you know, attack the lotuses, the lotuses don't shoot as fast, and then they can just kind of break it down. Bulkhead out here for Dave, and it's... Not likely to do a huge amount. Does provide okay, it does provide a bit of a meat shield for the boys at least. So not nothing. But I don't think Reposter really cares. Dave's main base under heavy fire. Looking pretty skip ooh, looking pretty bad here. One of the lotuses goes down the factory. Probably won't go down. The attacking force is getting thinned out rapidly. But a couple of characters do go down, and that. Oh, that was, I don't know if I'd call it successful. That's a lot of reclaim that's now been donated into into Dave's base for two caretakers. That really wasn't worth it. The attacks over to the side, much more effective. And yeah, the boys are doing what I expected them to do, I mean, slowing down the defenses and making it a lot easier to kill. But unfortunately, having lost that entire army as reclaim in your opponent's main base really wasn't the time to do that. If, I mean, yeah, it's like, that's sort of a late game, end game thing. I mean, maybe a reposter thought they got a strong economy, they can push it, they're making it work. As it stands, they're not that far behind in attrition, and their economy is pretty strong. So while Dave might be able to reclaim their way back into some level of parity for a minute or two, reposter is able to rebuild basically now. Like, they have rebuilt within a minute. So they're not in trouble the way that they would be if they had been behind. Actually, oh, Reposter. Oh, okay. Interesting idea. Just go for Stinger, I guess. Just have that be your siege option. So the north side, Reposter's just fighting defense with defense. south side, though, is where Reposter's army's clashing with days and finding some progress, but actually having a bit of a hard time. The boys aren't like, getting a lot of hits, and the ducks and archers doing their job, though. So at least that is something. That is thinning out Dave's army considerably... But Reposter not confident enough that they can take this on completely, and I don't blame them. And at the moment, it is proven to be rather difficult to pull off, so Dave right now, they are, they are able to hold on to the south side of the map. North side of the map is a bit of a different story, though. Reposter getting tons of reclaim off that, and they have more than enough energy and build power to make use of it all. 
Getting a plate on top of that, too. There's the Grizzly! Actually, rather late. 60 metal per second Grizzly, but to be fair, that is a good time for a Grizzly. It's late based purely on how how quickly Grizzlies are typically purchased, or how quickly the construction typically starts, but honestly, 60 metal per second is a good time to get that Grizzly going. That'll take about a minute or so, or not even. 30 seconds to come in here. Yeah, I mean, 2,000 metal on 60 metal per second. Yeah, 30 seconds is about right, 35 seconds or so. So with that, Reposter should be looking to take out this north side pretty thoroughly. I mean, Badgers coming from Dave, they had switched over to Rovers earlier during the attack. During the attack in the main base, and that is putting Reposter in an awkward position. Reposter having doubled down on F-Bots. Again, they're a bit of an awkward spot as far as siege options go. The Grizzly is up. The Grizzly is looking to go to the south, though, and help support the force the boys that have been attacking the south side of the map. So the north side is looking a little awkward right now. Oh, and you have the Impalers, too. Okay, that's... That's not gonna last for Reposter. That, this is... This is not looking good. Reposter, they are trying hard, but it's just not gonna happen. Still, they have Overdrive set up that's about to really... Well, not really push forward. I mean, they got most of the Overdrive off of the Geothermal plant here. But, you know, it's the thing. Let's build that up, finish up the connections, and they should be at least able to put a little more power into their Overdrive. But again, Reposter's just ahead based on every factor. Like, they have more of the map, they have more Reclaim, they have now more Overdrive coming in. And these boys doing an amazing job over to the south side, because Dave, with their focus over to the north, leaves Reposter open to just take out the south as best as possible. Take it a few metal extractors, take it a bunch of defenses, kind of isolate out the southern crescent here. They might be able to... I mean, Dave might be able to take out the army right now, and honestly... Reposter might want to retreat, but this is still looking like Reposter is going to have a reasonable amount of success here. Takes out a few badgers, takes out a few ducks. But unfortunately, their units just out of position on the attack. This is not looking great. Even with support forces coming in, more ducks coming around the side. I mean, Dave's army is just... it's tankier. It's tankier, it's higher range. It's better at just at enforcing attrition on their opponents. The Grizzly coming in will be of some help, but this honestly isn't necessarily the best place to put it. I mean, they'll help against the bulkheads. That's the main thing. It'll still take two shots to take them out. But the problem is more, this isn't really the best use of a Grizzly. Like, Grizzlies work best when they're fighting up against big entrenched positions. Against a bunch of units like this, especially a bunch of boys, they you build those to counter Grizzlies. So... Badgers as well. That's a great, great unit to use to counter the Grizzly. So honestly, I do not agree with this positioning from Reposter. They do have enough metal coming in just to completely brute force it, so it's probably going to be fine. But it's not, to me, the best use of a Grizzly. Like, either attacking the north side or the south side and just leaving the center somewhat contained, that, to me, would be the best use of a Grizzly. But, like I said, they have enough metal, they have enough economy, they can just brute force this regardless. And they do have a conch here to repair the Grizzly to help the attrition, but... can only help so much. Even 7.5 metal per second, it's... Repair speed can only go so high. So, unfortunately for Reposter, they have been really throwing a lot of units away. And looking at the attrition... Dave is ahead, 3,000 metal on attrition. They've been behind on economy this entire time. And when this, if this Grizzly goes down, that's going to be a huge blow. And the conch healing it went down as well. So its days are numbered. It only has 1,000 health left. 600 health left. Again, the Badgers are a counter unit to Grizzly. So I don't understand why it was sent where it was. Poster's commander as well in a bit of an awkward position thanks to those Badgers. What freak is over here? 4.3 guy. Wow, okay. Almost 5,000 metal reclaim just over in these front lines, right by Dave's base. I mean, they haven't been taking it, which is not good. They really ought to be taking it. There's so much they can get off that. Same time, those Scorch is coming to the main base, trying to damage what they can. Should be able to take out a caretaker or two. One goes down, two goes down. Scorch just die in the process, but still, two caretakers is... Actually, not much. No, there's that was those are spares. Those are redundant. 
Proposed Raven with all their reclaim doesn't have anywhere near that much coming in. Though there is Grizzly over to the north. There is Dave's commander wiping out everything that built sorry, south rather. Wiping everything that built over to the southeast. Reposter, their Grizzly is it's trying its best. Dave's commander is certainly in an awkward position, but these lotuses are gonna kill it before it gets able to get that those last few shots off on Dave's commander and Again, not the best. That's an okay position for Grizzly. That that's fine for the Grizzly. Unfortunately, for Reposter, they just lost a lot over the south side in the process. Fortunately for Reposter, they do have their commander still alive, near enough to reclaim fields they can take some advantage of it. As well as some conscious near reclaim fields, they have options. It's just a little awkward. Dave's commander, though, is still just doing wonders with Lotuses built as they go. So we're posted right now, and they're starting to- they're suffering from the lack of- from the attrition, the disadvantage they had before. Still have the overdrive, don't have much of the reclaim left, and losing a lot of the power that they had coming in here. I mean, Dave's commander's kind of got himself cornered, though. That is the one thing, but I don't think it really matters. It's cornered, but it's in a position where it's not really been helping supplement the defenses anyway. It's an assault force. Even if Dave's commander goes down, yes, it reduces Dave's income a little bit, but right now Dave's ahead of Reposter. They have all this reclaim in front of their base that they have now started taking. Actually, been taking for a little while. And again, it's 4,000 metal of reclaim. All in their territory. Like, Reposter, unfortunately, just hasn't really been able to break through the stuff that had been built up. And now, finally, trying to push back against what's built up over the south side. But it's at the cost of losing center control. And that Grizzly alone just isn't enough. They get none of the reclaim either. And that is it. Proposed to realize there's not much they can do, throws in the towel, and that is that. Dave, with a solid defense, just gradually, but eventually, wiping out enough of Reposter's army that Reposter simply can't do much to respond. Because, I mean, this entire time, Dave has had a lower income. They've had a smaller army. They've just been much more efficient when dealing with them. In large part, because of the fact that these Lotuses just bunched up, worked out. I mean, I don't know why Reposter decided to march right into them, but they did. And that didn't really work. And Dave in the chat actually pointing out that Reposter resigned a little early, and I, I'm inclined to agree. I think Reposter could have turned this around. It was a bit tricky though, but if Dave's commander had been killed, which speaking of, what the heck is Dave's commander? Ah, it's over here. Yeah, if Dave's commander had been killed, then. That would have opened this back up. The poster could have retaken it. They had held the center in the meantime, which I think was doable. The Badgers, they're scary, but the thing is, you throw a bunch of ducks at them, you'll be fine. So it's possible for a poster to deal with that while rebuilding the southeast. And then Dave, yes, they have all the reclaim. That's the one thing. But if you're able to push through and rebuild everything, the poster still had a higher static economy. So that would be, that would still be a viable option. Rebuild the south and gradually cut through, breaking down all the defenses over to the south side of the map while holding the center. It's a little tricky to pull off, especially having lost a lot of the army. Honestly, I think the grizzly positioning did Reposter in. They'd gone to the north and started attacking there, or gone to the south and started breaking up the defenses. That would have helped a lot more. But yeah, so that was that. Well done, Dave. Certainly strategy worked. So the next match we have in the last game for today is going to be between Randy and Izzeride. And it's going to be on the latest version of Red Comet. I'm just curious what they've, what's been done to it. Red Comet 1.7, I... I mean... I don't know, Red Comet's one of those maps that's just been around forever. And I'm always kind of curious to see what happens to it. Like, with the different art upgrades, so yeah. Checking that out, and or wait, is this? Nope, this is the. This is 1.7, which I don't think, I don't think we've seen. Anyway, it's Red Comet. I haven't seen Red Comet in a while, regardless. So let's go check that out. So yeah, Randy and Nizrod and Red Comet will be up next. So stay tuned. <laughs>